Today we are making a tomato turmeric fish. It's a simple fish recipe showcasing fish, tomato and turmeric. Take a flat pan and uh, sprinkle a little bit of oil on it. We're going to fry our fish. This recipe can be made with any kind of fish you like, any white fish, salmon. Over here I'm using an Indian fish called Rahu, uh, which you find in the Asian markets over here. What I had done earlier was I took the fish and I coated it with one teaspoon of turmeric and a little bit of salt. And now we will fry this fish on both sides and then keep it aside. We make our sauce and then add our sauce to this fish. So here we go, our fish is almost fried. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to keep it aside and then start in a different pan to make the sauce. Take a pan, add about two tablespoons of oil in it and heat it. Then I added one and a half teaspoons of mustard seeds to this. You wait for them to sputter. And then I added two sprigs of curry leaves. Uh, these are fresh from my garden. You can also buy curry leaves at the Asian store. Next, I took two Serrano chilies and I slid them in the center and I added the chilies to this. You can use green chilies or even jalapenos if you want. Um, just make sure there's a slit in the middle so that the chilies don't explode with the heat of the oil. And everything is smelling good. Add one teaspoon turmeric powder to this and a quarter teaspoon red chili powder. The red chili powder is totally up to you. If you don't want the excess heat, don't add it. Uh, but I kind of prefer a little bit of kick to my dishes, so hence the red chili powder. Do this on a low flame so that you don't burn anything. I kind of forgot to do that here. Uh, I quickly remembered, trust me. Next, I added three tomatoes. Uh, these tomatoes were the tomatoes on the wine. Juicy kind of tomatoes, very, very juicy. I added that to this um, spice mix. Season this with salt and half a teaspoon of sugar. The sugar uh, combats the acidity of the tomatoes and will make our dish perfect. Let this cook for a bit and then add one tablespoon of ginger paste. You can even add chopped ginger if you want. Uh, mix this very well and let it simmer till all the tomatoes cook down and break down a bit. I covered it here and I let it simmer on a low flame for about 10 minutes. Looking good. Now taste this and see if this needs any salt or any other seasoning. This would be a good time to adjust the seasonings in this uh, sauce because after this we are going to add this to our fish. Mine needed a bit more salt so I fixed that. Now add our sauce to the fish. You can even add a little bit of water so it helps cook the fish thoroughly. Here we go. Now let this simmer and some of the excess liquid dry up and you can finish it with about three to four tablespoons of chopped cilantro. This dish goes perfectly with some steamed white rice. I grew up eating this dish. My mom makes this best. Cooking and video by Shorna. Thank you for watching.